Hi there, welcome. My name is Jason and what I have to share with you right now is medicinal elderberry syrup slash juice and uh, how I use it. Um, so every like cold season that rolls around, uh, if, if people around me are starting to catch colds or I myself am like not sure if I'm catching a cold, you'll usually see me at home running for the freezer to get my frozen elderberries and to make some elderberry juice slash syrup. I call it that because of the way that I use it and so I'm going to talk about that really quick. Uh, and I do things also to make it so that you can take it as a, like more like a syrup or use it more like a juice. So I. Uh, what I'm going to cover is, so I provided in the description below uh, my recipe for elderberry juice and, uh, and, and also how I like to use it uh, in a medicinal aqua fresca that I like to make. Uh, so what I have here, um, a lot of stuff. So the recipe I provided below, uh, it makes seven uh, jars of elderberry juice and, um, and it includes ingredients like Astragalus. Uh, so this is an ancient herb that's been used a long time for its immune boosting benefits. Uh, also, I've uh, included, there's some lemon juice in this elderberry syrup. I have like cinnamon sticks and ginger root. Uh, ginger root has medicinal properties. Uh, the, you know, so it's, there's a lot going on in here um, and all for good reason. Uh, so, and then the elderberries, of course, which are also, you know, natural immune boosting uh, fruits. So, uh, yeah, and like I'd say, or like I've said before, um, I'm a horticulturist, I'm not a doctor, so uh, please consult your doctor if you're, can, you know, if you have any health conditions that you need to go over or um, any allergies, um, especially with astragalus, because, you know, this is, a, it's a root, uh, it's an extract. Uh, so, but, you know, for the most part, it's, it's one that I love to use. Uh, there is a lot of research, research that's been done on this plant, and um, I highly recommend that you go online and like read about it. Some pretty exciting things to like really hear about um, when it comes to astragalus roots. Uh, I've got a couple other things here, and you're probably wondering like, what is all of this stuff? Uh, so um, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make um, the fortified medicinal el elderberry juice that I like to have um, easily accessible in my refrigerator when I make it. So uh, what I like to do is I like to fortify it with the Lactobacillus plantarum, which also supports your immune system. I love this. It's called Good Belly Probiotics. Uh, they sell this in a lot of local grocery stores. Uh, so just um, go onto their website if you're curious as to where to find your own. Um, but this is the pomegranate and blackberry flavor. Uh, there's also a blueberry acai flavor. I feel like either of those flavors will pair well with the medicinal elderberry juice, uh, which also actually has pineapple juice in it. Um, I love the ginger and pineapple combination in there. Um, I've added cardamom also. So there's some pretty exotic flavors going on in this elderberry syrup. And I feel like it pairs well with these, with this juice, the blackberry pomegranate. Uh, the, the pineapple juice, there's a lot of medicinal qualities as bromelain, which is nice to like relax your body. Um, and uh, yeah, the lactobacillus, lactobacillus plantarum is amazing. So um, anyways, nevertheless, let's get started. So I'm going to have this so that for a week to two weeks, maybe longer, um, I can just use this as, at will. Uh, so I'm going to take one jar of the elderberry syrup. And you can take this by the teaspoon if you want, or tablespoon. Um, I like to just pour the whole thing in here. And then I have my Good Belly Probiotics. I'm gonna add that. And about two cartons should fill this up, this pitcher here. Uh, and these are each um, 32 fluid ounces if you're wondering how much how much is in here. And I might be able to fit both in here into this pitcher. Oh, perfect. There we go. So I'll just put my lid back on here. 
And so this is awesome. <clears throat> you can just have this whenever you want, this medicinal berry juice. Uh, and so what I do <clears throat> is when I want to have this, and there's no caffeine in this. Um, I've done this with um, where I have elderberry juice that I've made, and I've um, added it to kombucha and then drank it that way uh, to get the benefits of both. Um, but I recommend if you're more caffeine sensitive, you know, um, there is no caffeine in here, which is pretty cool about the lactobacillus plantarum. It's a different lactobacillus. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, what I do is I measure, I kind of don't measure anymore, I eyeball it, but you know, for this video, I'm gonna, I have a quarter cup right here and I just pour it here. I have this fun glass <laughs> and um, yeah. So you can just eyeball it. I kind of do about that much, you know, when I'm making this aqua fresca, this medicinal aqua fresca. And I have a soda stream, so I've, you know, filtered um, soda water. And you can pretty much add as much soda water as you want. You know, if you want it to be a weaker beverage, you know, or not as strong, uh, you can put more of the soda water in or, you know, or the reverse. Uh, and then, there's this, if you have this or if you want this, I absolutely love it. Um, this is rose water. It's an edible rose water made by a company called, I hope, I hope that I pronounce it well, it's Sadaf. Uh, I have provided a link in the description below uh, for this and for the astragalus root uh, extract. Um, but yeah, I like to, um, to take this rose water and I'll add it to a small um, spray bottle and then whenever I make aqua frescas, I can just spray it on top of the drink. So I'll just do like one to two and it kind of fizzes on the top. And this is my medicinal elderberry beverage. <laughs> it's delicious, oh my God. So absolutely love this. I totally recommend trying it out if you wanna have something backed up in your fridge that um, supports your immune system uh, and that you can just use, you know, at, at will, like whenever you want, and you have like a lot of it. So um, each one of these jars, you know, I could, I would, you can mix it that way. Um, anyways, I, uh, I have this too. This is a, a sleep aid. Um, you know, when it comes to colds and everything, um, I feel like sometimes you know you your cold makes you feel very uncomfortable, and maybe you don't get the rest that you want. And I feel like that's so important. Our sleep, getting quality sleep, is one of the most important things we can do for our body. And um, if you're fighting a cold, you really want that restorative sleep at night. And this is a brand I absolutely love. It's my favorite when it comes to, you know, a sleep aid because it's, it's very light. It actually has smaller doses of melatonin, which have been proven to um, be, can, they can even be like, you know, they can be very effective at still helping you sleep. Um, it also has components that um, like theanine that are like relaxing and there's Incetol for um, anxiety. And then there's also um, ruticarpine. It helps eliminate caffeine from your system. So it's a very well-rounded, very thought out and well put together sleep aid. And I highly recommend it. Um, I have added a link in the description below if you're interested in it. Uh, but I do believe in, you know, when um, considering getting a cold, you know, your body is, you know, taking, you know, taking care of your body is like so important. Being as healthy as you possibly can and just doing your best. So um, yeah, the elderberry aqua frescas and a little bit of sleep support, two really good things I hope that can help you, uh, you know, when, whenever you want to boost. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this, um, I've provided um, the recipe for the elderberry syrup in the description below with some links on, um, you know, the astragalus and the, the, the sleep aid. So um, yeah, any questions, just let me know. Uh, once again, this is an elderberry aqua fresca. Uh, and my name is Jason. Thanks again for hanging out.